N-acetylcysteine or NAC is one of the most popular supplements used for liver support and overall health. It's a modified version of the amino acid cysteine, but it's not exactly the same as taking a normal cysteine supplement. So in this video, I want to talk about it in more detail, how to use N-acetylcysteine correctly, the optimal dosage, possible side effects, and other supplements that go well with it. To start off, what you have to know is that when cysteine is taken alone, so by itself, it's not very stable and highly reactive because it easily forms bonds with other molecules, especially in the gut and bloodstream. This can limit how much actually gets absorbed and used by your body. By attaching an acetyl group to cysteine, you create an acetylcysteine, and this molecule becomes much more stable and better absorbed. Once it is in your body, NAC can then be converted back into cysteine and has several benefits. One, it boosts glutathione production. Glutathione protects your cells from damage and helps neutralize and eliminate toxins. It's made by the body from glutamine, glycine, and cysteine, but cysteine is usually the rate limiting factor here. So without cysteine, your body simply can't make enough glutathione. That's why NAC is such a valuable supplement. It's like giving your body the raw material it needs to keep your detoxification system running smoothly. Next, it also has direct antioxidant effects. NAC itself, so not just the glutathione that it helps to create, also acts as a direct antioxidant. It can neutralize free radicals and reactive oxygen species in your body on its own. So even before your body turns it into glutathione, NAC is already helping to reduce your oxidative burden, which is a huge part of why toxins are so damaging in the first place. Third, it can bind to certain harmful compounds, especially reactive aldehydes. These are byproducts that your body creates when it's exposed to things like cigarette smoke, alcohol, pollution, and processed food additives. By binding to these aldehydes, NAC can neutralize them and make them easier for your body to eliminate. Four, it also helps improve liver enzymes. NAC helps upregulate glutathione as transferase. This enzyme is responsible for attaching toxins to the glutathione molecule. And lastly, it has mucus thinning properties. In the lungs, it helps break down thick, sticky mucus. This isn't just to help you breathe easier, but it also clears trapped pollutants, mold spores, and other toxins out of your respiratory system. That's why it's often used for people with mold exposure and chronic bronchitis. Great, with all of these benefits, are there any side effects? And the answer is yes. Some people do see mild issues when they first start taking it. The most common side effects are things like nausea, digestive upset, bloating, or feeling a little bit off, especially if you start with a higher dose. Sometimes you also get headaches or a bit of brain fog when you first ramp up your glutathione production because the body is moving toxins around a lot more efficiently. In very sensitive people, NAC can also lead to lower blood pressure because it increases nitric oxide levels. And although it's rare, a few people notice that it worsens their mood temporarily. This usually passes once your body gets used to it, but because of that, it's always smart to start low and go slow when you're adding NAC to your supplement stack. Also, the supplement itself doesn't smell great because of its high sulfur content. This is just something I wanted to mention. When it comes to how and when to take it, there are a few guidelines to keep in mind. In theory, NAC is always best absorbed when taken on an empty stomach, so either 30 minutes before eating or two hours after meal. Taking it with food will slightly lower how much your body absorbs, but the effect should be minimal and it can also help if you get stomach upset from it. As far as dosage goes, the most common daily dose if you're looking for liver and detox support is around 600 to 1200 milligram per day. Some people split that into two doses for more even coverage. If you're dealing with heavy toxin exposure, mold illness, or high liver stress, then some protocols also recommend going higher, so 2000 milligrams per day or even more. But again, it's usually best to build up slowly and then watch how your body reacts. It's also important to drink plenty of water when you're taking it and make sure that your bile is flowing. Because as your body ramps up glutathione production and detoxifies more, you want to be able to flush out these toxins effectively and you don't want to be dehydrated or constipated. As for other supplements that go well with NAC, there are a few that come to mind here. When it comes to supporting glutathione, 
like I said before, glycine and glutamine are also needed. Usually if you consume enough protein, these shouldn't be a problem, but in some people it still makes sense to take them. For example, if they don't have great protein absorption. Other possible additions could include selenium, which is essential for the activity of glutathione peroxidase, which is one of the other enzymes involved in glutathione production and use. Vitamin C, which works together with glutathione for even better antioxidant effects and zinc. That's because cysteine improves zinc absorption and zinc and cysteine are key components of the detox protein metallothionine, which is extremely important if you want to eliminate heavy metals. Lastly, some people also take molybdenum with it to support sulfide detoxification, especially if they notice sulfur sensitivity when they're using NAC. All of these are optional, of course, so see what applies to your individual case. In terms of quality, you want to make sure to cover the basics, like looking for brands that are third-party tested, that guarantee purity and potency. Because of the other co-founders that are used in neck metabolism, some supplements already come with them, so it's often paired with vitamin C, zinc, or selenium. Obviously, stay away from products with a lot of unnecessary fillers or additives. And that's pretty much it. As you can see, N-acetylcysteine is one of the most fundamental liver and detox supplements out there, and I would say it's definitely worth a try.